you have been found guilty of breaking the fourth commandment of God. What do you have to say to defend yourself? What? I've always kept the fourth commandment my whole life. How can I be guilty? Exodus 20, 8 says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Of course, I know that. I keep every Sunday holy. Well, you got it wrong. The Sabbath is not on Sunday. Let us finish reading the Bible text. Exodus 20.10 says, The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. Hmm. But but, is the seventh day not on Sunday? No, the seventh day is Saturday. Luke 23.46, 54 says, And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit, and having said thus, he gave up the ghost. And that day was the preparation, and the Sabbath drew on. Notice from the text that Christ died on the preparation day often referred as Good Friday by Christians. However, the Sabbath drew on, indicating that the next day was the Sabbath immediately after Good Friday, which is Saturday. Also, the next chapter in Luke 24, 1-3 says, Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared. Then two angels says in verse 5 and 6 Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. This is what Christians call Easter Sunday, which the Bible calls the first day of the week. Now think about it. If the first day is Easter Sunday, which day will be the seventh day? There can only be one answer, Saturday. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. However, could it be I'm missing something? No, you're not. In fact, the Jewish people have been keeping the Sabbath on Saturday for over 4,000 years. Check online to find out when the Jews keep the Sabbath. Well, I remember now. A pastor once told me that the Sabbath was made for the Jews. And Christian are not expected to keep the Sabbath. It was not made for the Jews but for man. Jesus says in Mark 2.27, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. However, since the Jews were initially God's people, they definitely have to keep the Sabbath as a member of God's family. In fact, there was no Jew existing when God instituted the Sabbath in Eden. Take a look at Genesis 2, 1-3. It says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it. Because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. From this text, you can see that God added another day to the six days of creation just for the purpose of Sabbath rest. He blessed the day and made it holy. This blessing and holiness given to the seventh day was not bestowed on any other day of the week. Perhaps. Jesus abolished the Sabbath when he came to the earth. No, he didn't. Instead he kept the Sabbath. Luke 4.16 says, And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up for it to read. Notice that it was his regular habit of Christ to go to the synagogue every Sabbath. So what Sabbath was abolished at the cross? That is a good question. You are on the right track. You need to understand something critical about the law. There were two major laws given by God. Firstly, we have the moral law which is called the Ten Commandments. Secondly, we have the ceremonial law, which is often referred as the Law of Moses. The moral law was written by God's finger on two tablets of stone Exodus 31, 18 and Exodus 32, 16, while the ceremonial law was written by Moses in a book 2 Chronicles 35, 12. The moral law was placed inside the ark signifying that it is the foundation of God's government Exodus 40, 20, while the ceremonial law was placed in the side of the ark signifying its temporal nature Deuteronomy 31, 26. The moral law will stand forever. Luke 16:17. What the ceremonial law ended at the cross. If a science 2:15. The moral laws points out sin. Romans 7:7 7, 7, and Exodus 3:20. What the ceremonial law was added because of sin. Galatians 3:19. Hmm. This is getting interesting. The seventh day Sabbath is found in the moral law or Ten Commandments. What the ceremonial Sabbaths are found in the ceremonial laws. Examples of ceremonial Sabbaths includes Feast of Trumpets, Feast of Tabernacle, Passover, First Fruits, Day of Atonement etc. All of the ceremonial Sabbaths ended at the cross because they met their fulfillment in Christ. That is why we don't kill lambs for sacrifice as Christians because Jesus was the sacrifice and he died once for all. However, 
The seventh day Sabbath is different, because it is part of the Ten Commandments, and was instituted before sin existed, therefore, it is not a shadow like the ceremonial Sabbaths that ended at the cross. What you've said so far makes sense. But most Christians today keep Sunday. Could it be that the apostles of Jesus kept Sunday? Not at all. In fact, the disciples kept the Sabbath. Paul just like Jesus kept the Sabbath after Christ's ascension to heaven. Acts 17, 2 says, And Paul, as his manner was, went in into them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the Scriptures. Even the converted Gentiles to Christianity also kept the Sabbath. Acts 13 42, 44 says, And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. So, why do most Christians worship on Sunday? Most Christians worship on Sunday because of the Sunday tradition instituted by the Catholic Church in the 4th century. It was Constantine, the Emperor of Rome that changed the Sabbath to Sunday in AD 321. It was then solemnized by the Catholic Church. Let us take a look at the Converts Catechism of Catholic Doctrine, 1957. It reads, which is the Sabbath day? Answer, Saturday is the Sabbath day. Why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer, we observe Sunday instead of Saturday, because the Catholic Church transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. What? You mean the change of the Sabbath was done by man and not God? Yes, it was changed by the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church admits this. In fact, God warned us about the change of the Sabbath in Daniel 7.25 which says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the divining of time. It is quite interesting that God told us ahead of time that a power would arise that think to change his laws. Wow! I've never read that before in the Bible. Does this mean I've been following man's tradition all this time? Well, you have been following traditions. Matthew 15, 3 and 9 says why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Is there hope for me? I've been wrong my whole life. Yes, yes. There is hope for you. 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. All you have to do now is to follow the truth and God will lead you through. Thank you so much. I've really been blessed by this conversation. I hope to talk with you again. For now, I need to think about all you've told me today. Pastor, I just learned something new. Oh really? Please, tell me about it. I was interrogated today about my beliefs. Although, I've been a bad boy with tattoos, I felt for the first time a need for change. Good boy? It is high time you change. So, what was the interrogation about? I learned the Sabbath is on Saturday and God still expects us to keep it. That is not true my boy. The Sabbath was nailed to the cross. But pastor, I saw with my eyes that the Sabbath is part of the Ten Commandment and we can't pick and choose which of the Ten Commandment we feel like keeping. If the Fourth Commandment about the Sabbath was nailed to the cross, then what about the First, Second, Third? fifth or sixth commandments. Were they also nailed to the cross? Well, Colossians 2 14 to 16 says, the Sabbath was abolished. No pastor. I read that the Sabbath mentioned in Colossians 2 was not referring to the seventh day Sabbath, but was instead referring to the ceremonial Sabbaths which were shadows pointing to Christ. Boy, forget about that. We keep Sunday in remembrance of Christ's resurrection. Do you have a Bible verse to support that assertion? Did God tell us to keep the first day Sunday as the new Sabbath in remembrance of resurrection? Well, there is no Bible verse that says it definitely but it's a tradition that has lasted for long. Therefore, it is okay to go along with the popular tradition. Besides, a day does not matter before God. We ought to worship God daily. Yes, we worship God every day. But we can't keep every day holy sir. God did not say, make any day holy. Instead he said, Keep the seventh day holy. God was specific about the day. And only God can make something holy. If we are to keep every day holy, then we would have to abstain from secular work every day which contradicts the explicit command of God in the fourth commandments. Which says, we should work for six days. Pastor. I'm done with following man. 
Man has controlled my life for so long. It is high time I change my ways and follow God's command instead of human tradition and philosophy. Take good care of yourself. Well, friends, I hope you learned something from this short conversations. I hope you would make a decision today on truth and not traditions. Remember, Isaiah 66, 22-23 says for as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass, that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. Even in heaven and the new earth, we shall keep the Sabbath. I pray that God would help each one of us to follow him wherever he leads. Watch out for continuation of the show soon. Thank you and God bless.